Hey guys, welcome back to some more FM Challenge Wheel of Fortune and part 5, no, part 6 of Injury Crisis and today we have a reasonably sized uh, Premier League fixture against West Brom. I know I always say it's a big game, but they all are. Um, they're all teams that are around us and it's going to be interesting. Let's have a look at the last match since the last episode, which was that... Uh, well, we lost 3-1 against Southampton, but 4-4 four, four against Man City, a brilliant game. Berahino got a hat-trick, Jonathan Walner scored on his return, and it was a good game. It was really good. I wish it was on camera, but it wasn't. Um, and it means that we're now on 35 points from 32 games. We're looking fairly safe at the moment, but... A couple of defeats here and there, and we could be dragged right back in. Anyway, I won't be happy until we've reached that 40 point margin, and even that might not be enough this season. We've got some tough games against Arsenal and Man United towards the end of the season, so it's certainly going to be interesting. Uh, we've got Swansea on the last day, I don't think we've got Middlesbrough in between now and then, so it, this is the last game against a relegation. Rival because Swansea look out of it to be quite honest with you. Top performances, top goal scorer is Berahino with 15, um, and top assists is Bonnie with 6, and top player of the matches is Joe Allen with 3. Let's have a look at the team for today. We've got Butland in goal, we've got Johnson, Martins in the Money Essa, and Peters in defence. We've got Alan Whelan and Adam in the middle with Duyuf starting behind Bonnie and Berahino. So, that's a pretty scary team, to be honest with you. I think Stoke are a, are a cracking side, and I th I'm quite happy to be in charge of them at the moment. Um, it's going to be a tough one against West Brom, <clears throat> uh, and if they win, obviously that brings them right back into the battle for safety and drags us back into the, the relegation fight. But here's to you if he puts it in the back of the net and makes it 1-0. That's his first goal of the season. And that pulls us a little bit clear of relegation as it stands. It'll put us on 38 points, I believe, and above Leicester City up in 14th place. If it ever loads, by the way. Um, but Duf getting his first goal of the season, he's been playing very well. He's sort of been the silent player. Um, well, silent sort of good player, I guess. He hasn't been scoring goals, but he's been... Uh, going along nicely and Bonnie nearly made it 2-0 but it's 1-0 uh, looking good at the moment here's Martin's Indy but nothing happening there Whelan and Alan now Adam do you fold a well for Bonnie that should have been 2-0 that should have been 2-0 West Brom haven't had a shot yet we are absolutely dominating the game this is looking good it's looking very, very good indeed, and within a couple of games we could be past that forty point and look forty point mark and looking up the league rather than over our shoulder down at the league. Challenge is looking almost complete at the moment, which is good. It's not been the hardest challenge, I'll put it that way. I think if all of the players that were out were out for the rest of the season it would have been a lot harder. But again, we're players back now and it should be getting a lot easier um as we're getting our top players back. But don't want to jinx anything just yet. We are only eight points clear. Five games to go, which I think we should be okay. But here's Adam now, Berahino, Joe Allen, Whelan and Berahino, Allen, who, Johnson. Should be a goal here, surely. Charlie Adam, Berahino. Good save by Ben Foster. And uh, this puts West Brom in bigger trouble. They're four points adrift now. If they don't get back into this game, which it's not looking likely, we're going to bring Peter Crouch and Berahino on. We're going to swap them two round and bring on Gareth Barry as a little bit of defensive cover. Oh dear, it's away by Gareth Barry. Good job we brought him on. Oof. Good assertive goalkeeping there from Jack Butland. And we might just get a goal on the break here. Here's Peter Crouch. Adam, do you Crouch? Do you Crouch puts it in the back of the net. His fourth goal this season. He's been quite good. He's impressed us a lot. He wasn't like this for Sunderland in the Sunderland project, if you remember. But a very good goal there from outside the area. 2-0. That's pretty much sealed that there. Um, and yeah, we can be pretty... Oh, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. 
I was going to say we'll, we'll be pretty please, pleased to have a clean sheet, and we might still have that. Jack Butland with the save on the penalty there. We've just had a good game, and it's all over. 2-0, got to be pleased, got to be pleased. 14th place, looking up the league rather than down. We're 8 points clear of relegation. We're virtually safe. I think one more victory will definitely do it. And, uh, well... Bournemouth have avoided relegation apparently good for them when are we going to come back that is the question we'll come back against Watford I don't think there's any point showing the Arsenal match we'll just come back every couple of games until the end of the season uh, if we win the next game then we'll just come back against Swansea to finish things off but uh, yeah if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a like down below and you know it means the world to me if you leave a like and it only takes a couple of seconds and really helps the channel out as well we're pushing 900 subscribers now so make sure you share it to your friends share it on twitter facebook uh anything that that you, you can do anything that you can contribute to the channel would be really really appreciated and honestly would mean the world to me so if you could do that it would be brilliant uh and yeah i hope you guys are having a wonderful day Thanks for watching and goodbye.